Hey there, I'm filming this on August 1st in our uh, local band. Just had their first parade yesterday at the uh, fair parade, and uh, that means it's band season. And so just want to talk to you real shortly about our uh, rental program, and also uh, today we're going to cover some brass instruments and what to look for on those. So uh, we do offer a great rental program that's a great way to get started. Uh, it offers some uh, safety net for you, uh, as well as makes it very affordable. Most of the instruments are, are around $30 a month, and all that rent does apply to the purchase. Uh, we're also pretty flexible with that, so if they start out on trumpet and, uh, you know, two weeks later the band director says, boy, trumpet is the wrong choice for this kid, they need trombone, or whatever that case may be, we allow you to bring that instrument back and we apply your rent to the next instrument. Uh, so you're not just throwing money away and it and, uh, gives you a little bit of a safety net. You're also never obligated to buy, so heaven forbid they want to quit band at the end of the year, you're just out the rent you've paid. You bring back the instrument you're not obligated to buy. So it's a great rental program. You can check out all the details at Your Music HQ, uh, pretty in-depth there, or give us a call or swing by the shop here. Uh, I'm going to cover a little bit of brass winds and what to look for, uh, whether it's looking at an instrument from us or uh, maybe you found a used one at the uh, yard sale or something like that. Here's the things to look for. Uh, so on a trumpet, uh, we'll start out with that. That's the most common brass wind instrument for kids to start out with. First thing you want to check out is make sure the valves are free. So they should work nice and freely. You might need to oil them if it's been sitting a while, but they should work nice and freely. Uh, the other thing is unscrew the cap here. And you can see that's this little piece here. Unscrew that ring and uh, take a look at the valve itself. It should be nice and silver all the way around. You shouldn't see any real tarnish or anything. This one's really nice and shiny because I just oiled it up. Uh, but uh, you shouldn't have any tarnish on there. Uh, something that we see on the very inexpensive horns, like you uh, can buy on eBay and that kind of thing, uh, really cheap, uh, is that those valves will just tarnish within a month. And if, uh, I really suggest you avoid those horns. Uh, dead giveaway on those if it's a funky color, if it's red or blue or purple or something like that. Uh, it's probably not a very good quality horn to start with, and you probably want to avoid that. Uh, so that's the valves. The other thing to look for is the slides. There's uh, four of them on a trumpet. There's one attached to each of the valves, and then there's the main tuning slide right up here. And you want to make sure that those pull freely. Uh, sometimes they can be a little sticky, or maybe if, if one or two of them are actually stuck. Uh, you know, that's not necessarily a, a deal breaker. Uh, we can pull those uh, usually without a whole lot of problem. While you're checking those slides, actually go ahead and pull one off and take a look. Again, take a look at the inside. Should be nice and clean. This is a nice uh, used Jupiter we have here. And uh, they should be nice and clean. You shouldn't see a lot of green stuff growing in there, you know? Uh, if, it's, if it's got a lot of gunk on the inside, that's probably a good indication that the kid didn't take care of their horn uh, very well. So the same thing applies actually to the baritone. Uh, you want to make sure the valves work freely, pull one out, take a look, check the slides, that kind of thing. On all the brass wind instruments, you want to look for uh, dents. A few dents here and there isn't a big deal. However, if uh, there are major dents on the tuning slides, any of these smaller tubes, uh, particularly that second valve slide for whatever reason on trumpet seems to get dented a lot. Uh, if there's major dents that uh, restrict more than about 20 or 30 percent of the airflow, that can affect the playing. So uh, you really want to check out for that. Uh, the other instrument to really look at, or, or that a lot of times kids start on, is going to be the trombone. Big old trombone. Uh, it is the most clumsy of instruments, just to let you know. So it sticks out in the back, it sticks out in front. And so it's really common to see some dents back here. It's common to see uh, this uh, bow dented in just a little bit. Like I said, if it's, if it's under 20 or 30 percent, you're probably still fine. It's, it's going to play okay. Uh, much more than that, and you might want to pass on the horn. Some of them can be repaired or, or replaced this bow, but uh, you know, it's quite a bit of additional expense to look out for. Main thing on a trombone is, of course, the slide. That's, that's where all the action happens. And so you want to make sure that that works nice and freely. And as long as you're working that off. Now, if it's got some white on it, uh, as opposed to this nice uh, clear, that just means it probably has been played or cleaned for a while. It's not necessarily a deal breaker. You might have to actually wipe that off and oil the slide in order to get it to, to go smoothly. If it's got a small dent in the slide, we can take care of that as well. Or some of that white, uh, we can come in and, and get that acid bath and check that out. Uh, the other thing to look for on a, on a trombone, this is really the big one, is you want to go ahead and pull that slide off and look at this internal slide. It should be a nice silver color all the way throughout, and you want to pay special attention down here on the ends. Uh, if it's missing plating, uh, that's just a continual problem, and you're going to be fighting that. Uh, so if you see any brass, brass color underneath there or any rust, uh, you, you want to avoid that horn. Uh, it's, it's, that's just going to be a source of constant frustration. So. 
So that's your, your quick primer on checking out brand instruments, uh, particularly the brass line. Uh, in the next uh, week, we'll be doing the woodwinds. We'll cover the saxophones, flutes, clarinets, and uh, check those out. Uh, if your kid's starting on French horn or tuba, generally the school supplies those, uh, but uh, give us a call as well. We've got a couple of affordable models for you that, you can, uh, that are available on our rent-to-own program as well. So that's Brass Winds. Check out our entire rental program and our inventory uh, of what we have available for you at uh, yourmusichq.com uh, or swing by the shop here. Uh, we do offer, if you, if you can get that horn out of the hands of the owner and ask him uh, if you can bring it down to the music store, we offer free evaluations on those used horns if you've got them. Or maybe it's your old horn from when you played. Bring it down. We'll take a look at it. We'll give you a fair evaluation, tell you whether it's worth buying, whether it's a good deal, or how much work it's going to need to be brought up to snuff. So that's uh, yourmusichq.com or swing down right here at 119 North Spruce, that beautiful downtown Oglala. Let's get your kids started on the right foot uh, in a lifelong pursuit of music.